Well, Grayson is back for another edition of Your Hometown. He sure is. This time he's right here in the capital city. Walt joining us now live from the Museum of Art with what we can expect ahead of tomorrow's Jackson Food and Wine Festival. Walt. Yeah, thank you, Melanie. You know, every month we get together and try to go to a, a different city, a different uh, location, and tell what's so special about that town. We've been in Jackson once, but we're, and we'll probably come back again, more than likely, because there's a lot of things to look at here. But this is a special edition of your hometown, driven, by the way, by Hallmark Hyundai, because we have the first annual, and it will be an annual one, right? That's okay, I got my guest here over here. <laughs> this, this is my crib sheet over here. She's telling me the answers. Uh, the very first annual and it's already a success. Jackson Food and Wine Festival is coming up tomorrow night. And so where I'm standing now, out in front of the Mississippi Museum of Art, this courtyard out here, the gardens, I guess that's where it is, isn't it? Yes. Is going to be a very different looking place tomorrow night. And my guest is Yolanda Clay Moore. And Yolanda, you are the, let me get this, you are the um, Director of External Affairs with Visit Jackson. First of all, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, external Affairs is just connecting Visit Jackson to the community, okay. extending our, our arm a little bit farther than just tourism. Now tell me what goes into planning an event like this. Somebody comes up with, hey, let's have a food fair. And somebody says, yeah, that's a good idea. Then what do you do? Well, you know, we've done our homework. We've participated in the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival for several years alongside Visit Mississippi. And we just thought this was something that we could do here. And we have such a rich culinary offering here that, uh, you know, it's a lot of work that goes behind it. You know, identifying the chefs, um, laying out the design. And then when you find out that the wonderful planetarium project is a little bit bigger yeah. than you expected and then redesigning um, just the layout and just getting all the elements together to make sure that people have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of chefs, how many chefs do you have participating? Uh, right at 26. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah people yeah. people come in. In case you don't know how this works, you, you, you come in you, for the price. Well, the tickets are sold out, but for the price of the tickets, you come in and you sample all the food and all the beverages that you want. And one of those chefs was at the TV station this past week for our Live at Nine show, and uh, we uh, Blake Levine uh, interviewed them. We'll, we'll take a look at that now. One of the chefs joins me now who's going to be in it, Hunter Evans. He works at LV's restaurant in Jackson's Bell Haven neighborhood. Hel Hunter, welcome first off to Live thank at you. Nine. Yeah, thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about this Jackson Wine and Food Festival. Uh, how did you get involved in it, and then what's the excitement? for you personally as a chef? Yeah, so I think this is kind of like, um, you know, food festival weather. The weather gets nice, people want to get outside. Um, so the local palate is helping throw the festival um, and they've reached out to me and 20 other chefs um, to have a really great weekend at the Museum of Art. Yeah, so how did, when, when you were uh, approached by, about doing this, what was your initial thought? Yeah, I mean, it was like, we're, we're definitely in. Um, we love doing food festivals. The week after this one, we're going to Charleston to do a food festival. Um, so it's really fun for chefs and restaurants to participate. So if people don't know, LV's got a very interesting history and it's, it's, it's a recent history. Yeah. Tell us about how you, you know, your grandmother started LV's yeah. and how you got into it uh, here in Jackson. Yeah, so LV was my grandmother. She's from New Orleans. Um, and so um, when I was looking to open a restaurant, um, we kind of take a lot of influences from New Orleans, kind of the French side of New Orleans, and uh, named it after her. Um, and that, that's really kind of been the story of how we approach the food and the menu. So you were always into food? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, she got you into it and she taught you all the recipes? Well, I think, you know, it's just kind of being exposed, going to New Orleans and seeing all of the, the restaurants and eating all the food with her and our family. Um, I, w I was kind of running around. I wasn't really in the kitchen, um, but I kind of wish I was more. Yeah, and, and for people that go... <laughs> Yolanda Claymore with the Visit Jackson. You're going to be out here tomorrow night. Oh, for sure, with bells on. <laughs> what, what are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to just celebrating all of our chefs and uh, going into a food coma, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go. Uh, so it's going to be a different place down here, downtown Jackson, tomorrow night. So if you want to be included in the second annual you better go ahead and buy a ticket now yeah get get a, get your credit card ready because because <laughs> this is going to be one of the most popular events that jackson's ever seen so we're live downtown jackson with uh, this month's edition of uh, your hometown